the sun is shining and we finally spend more time outside and we play also outside. Today I'm gonna tell you some of my tips to play safely outside for you and your harp. First of all, whether you play for fun outside or you are professionally engaged, you have to have the harp in the shade. Every time your harp is under the direct sunlight, it loses 20 years of life. So no, 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 no. Ask for a gazebo, for a tent, something. Just don't play under the sun, please. Second, always bring a rug with you to put under the harp. You don't want to put the harp on the contact with the ground never no 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 the moist of the ground will go up and ruin your harp which is made of wood it's alive and you want to preserve from humidity from dryness blah 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 third if you play with a music stand use these these are very strong magnets that they stick at your music stand and your page will never move anymore of course if you have to turn pages you have to organize yourself but these are much more elegant elegant and much more discreet than these horrible things that you use for the hanging clothes well some people do i don't but i don't even know what they're called but i'll put a picture blah, 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 blah. no this one is elegant it's discreet number four put something on your body against insects mosquitoes and stuff like that once i was playing in a cool stage at night with the orchestra it was completely pitch dark under the stars wonderful but the problem was that at some point attracted by these very strong lights a lot of insects started to come and you could see the clarinet playing and being like that to get rid of these insects it was really funny but really distracting so it's something to take into consideration just use this five and last tip for today amplify your harp i know it's more work but it's really really worth it if you play for yourself or four or five friends it's okay not to be amplified of course but if you play professionally in a wedding outside in an aperitif in a gathering cocktail what Whatever, and there are more than 20 people then you should amplify your harp because it's not good to play for the glass of champagne left on a table beside you it's actually quite frustrating and you feel oh gosh i spent so many hours of my life for doing nothing because people don't hear me so amplify your harp go out Play confidently, be heard. Next week, I'm gonna be less busy and I'm going to do a really cool video before and after amplifying the harp. Now, please share some of your tricks down in the comments below and I'll see you next week for a really cool video. Bye, ciao. Put a Put some anti, put some, put